morning. It's a very sunny day today, which is really, really nice. So today we're gonna catch some yabbies in this yabby capture thing. So yabbies are like, I think they're like related to the shrimp that we know. Um, and maybe for a Chinese reference, they're very similar to longxia. So we're gonna use this yabby part and we're gonna put little sausages inside to try and get some yabbies. Not to eat, just to check them out and, um, and then put them back. A lot of people do catch them to eat them, but um, so yeah, that's our plan for this morning. We're gonna go catch some yabbies. So for our bait, we're gonna use this sausage in each one. Mm -hmm. So this is the yabby pot. It's like a pyramid shape and they're supposed to enter through this part here and it's large so that any unwanted um, animals like Oops. like platypus water or rat. a water rat um, can get out. So only the yabbies um, are caught in the net. So then you just put the bait inside this part and then it will just sit there and then they'll hopefully get captured inside. And this inside, this kind of thing, we've got our sausage here. Just tie it on with this thing here. And so that'll just sit in there. And when it's thrown in the water, it'll be just nice for them to enter. Right? Okay, we're gonna try the yabby pots here. Is he coming for some water? Well, you use a bowline knot. So you create a loop like that. Then the rabbit comes out of the hole, round the tree, sees you, and then goes back inside the hole. And there it is, bowline, does not slip. So we've tied both of the yabby pots to each end of the rope. So we're gonna throw the yabby pot in now so that you have a rock or someone that can help hold the middle part so that when you throw it in, you don't throw all the rope. Otherwise you won't be able to pull it back. So we're gonna use this manhole and... Girl, I haven't got all day. Christmas is coming. The technique is to throw it flat like this. Make sure that your bait is in tight so it doesn't fall out. Okay, I'm gonna throw this direction. That's how not to throw it. <laughs> oh. That's a trial run. Trial so, run? Failed. So I accidentally threw it upside down, which means that the bait, the bait is, is out, out and there will be no thing inside. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Got this for the second time. That's, That's better. better. We're going to do our second one. Watch the rope. So we've put in our two yabby pots. Now we need to give them some time for the yabbies to swim over. I thought I would share this cool accessory from Decathlon. Um, this is really handy because at the moment, though it's not summer, there still are a lot of flies. So this kind of just keeps the flies away. So no worries. So we're going to go cut some wood now because um, in the evening it's starting to get a bit cold. If we cut some wood ready then we can light the fire. Cutting large logs. Saw table. Chainsaw. Model 391 Farm Boss. Two stroke oil and petrol mixed together for the chainsaw. And lubricant to keep the chain oiled. Kevlar pants. If you saw drops down on your leg, you won't cut your leg off. Another mark tip. I think we should give feedback to Steel. There's a deficiency in the pants. 
Very sexy. All right. Oh. Hey, so just then my dad called me to go help him out at the paddock. Turns out there were two twin lambs just born and the mother wasn't giving them milk. So dad um, called me to go take the truck over to the paddock and we picked them up. So this is what they're like, they're so cute. So Indy is looking after them and sort of just cleaning them up. Hello. Their umbilical cord is still there. Hey, that's the umbilical cord. Uh, you're so sweet. This is the other one. How old do you think they are? Oh, look at the um, tail. About an hour old. Only an hour old. He latched onto the fence post. Oh. Thinking it was the mother. And when, when they all walked off, the mother left him behind. Mm. Look at him. <laughs> well, the one was too, too, too hard. hard. So we just switched to a softer teat, a softer teat. Hello. Good girl, Indy. You're such a good mum. So this is what a yabby looks like. How many legs do they have? One. So the claws. Oh, sorry. 